Ahoy, this is Zenka. If you are looking for a replacement for CapCut but don't want to learn complicated software, it's simply not your thing, you are looking for something easier, user-friendly, this video might be for you. Filmora has developed over the years, I know very well, as I created several Filmora tutorials. The latest version uses AI technology that really makes editing easier and way faster, such as multi-camera editing. In this video, I'm going to summarize the most important features. This video is brought to you by Wondershare. Let's start with multi-track editing, as this is a very important feature for those who record with multiple cameras. CapCut supports that feature as well, but it's not as complex as Filmora. Now, for those who are not familiar with multi-track editing, let me explain how that works. Instead of stacking the tracks on top of each other and editing them manually, you can do it way easier here. I have imported clips that were filmed with multiple cameras. I will select them all, right click, and select create multi-camera clips. Settings will open up where you can name your clip. I will just leave it as it is and hit OK. The software will auto-synchronize the clips. The multicam clip will show up on the timeline and in the preview window, you can enable multicam view. When you double-click the multicam clip on the main timeline, it will take you to all the clips where you can control them further. The cutting process will be super simple. I will simply play the video and whenever I select a certain camera view, it will make a cut. On the right, you have all editing controls for the clips. There is absolutely everything when it comes to audio, color grading, if you are doing more advanced production. It has all the professional advanced tools you need. Let's talk about color grading. When you color grade in CapCut, it is mainly based on presets. And when it comes to tools, color grading tools, the selection is quite limited. Let me show you what is in Filmora. Presets are here as well. So if that is something you like to use, there is a quite nice selection here. LUT section is below. You can use any of the provided LUTs or import your own. You can tone down the LUTs to get the base you need and then you can color grade further. White balance controls are below that have all professional controls and the same basic controls such as brightness, highlights and shadows. Let's go to the next panel, which is HSL. Here you can control each color individually. Curves panel is next and color wheels that let you adjust highlight colors, midtones and shadows. Each step you can save as a custom preset. What I like is the way the software looks and the tools. How I would explain it? All the icons and the tools are just big and bold, so I guess it's pleasing on the eye and just the brain registers it easier. So it's I find it's easier to understand the software. It is very different in complex editing software like Premiere Pro. I don't get the same feel. Let's mention keyframe animation. Now, CapCut has it too, but it's limited. Here you get more. Here is a basic title that you can fully animate. These little icons are on the right. So wherever you see them, that can be all controlled with the keyframes. You can rotate, you can scale. I'm just going to place the keyframe at the end of the clip with the final zoom and another keyframe at the beginning of the clip while I will scale it down a bit. Here is one animation. I can use keyframes to move the title from top to a lower position and I can also change the opacity. I can make it appear on the screen. You can literally adjust frame by frame, so if you need to really create custom dynamic animation, you can. What I really like about Filmora are the automatic editing tools and AI tools. You get things done pretty much instantly and then you just tweak it further. 
Video editing is extremely time consuming. So I'm always looking for new tools that can things down faster because I just like to enjoy longer <laughs> coffee breaks. CapCut has quite limitation when it comes to those tools. They mainly focus on speech to text and automatic subtitle creation. Let me show you this main page where you get all these tools. AI color palette, smart BGM generation, auto reframe, planner tracking, multi-camera editing. I already covered that. AI portrait cutout and a lot more. When it comes to my own production, I film everything in 16 by nine. And then when I need to change it to vertical, so nine by 16, I am not always in the center. I move around. Let me show you this auto reframe tool, which is amazing. You simply import the clip you want to reframe, select the nine by 16 aspect ratio and hit analyze. Once it is done, you can see the reframed video and the frame is moving as I am moving, keeping me always in the middle. This saves so much time. Let me show you another tool I also like, which is AI cutout. Once you import the clip, it will automatically analyze the clip and remove the background. You don't need to do any masking manually. I can then reposition myself to the center here. So I'm a bit smaller. The next step would be adding another clip that will work as a background. All I have to do is drag the background clip below my cutout clip to get this result. It is just very simple. Another practical tool that is a must if you do lots of software tutorials is screen recording. Let's scroll down on this main page. It's right here. Once you hit that, this small window shows up where you have all the tools you need. You can select if you want to record a full screen, custom or target window. You can enable microphone. You can turn on system audio and webcam as well. Below you've got more settings. Here you can choose recording mode. You can name your recording and choose where you want the file to be saved. You can select frame rate quality, enable countdown. There is also recording timer available. Below you've got all mouse controls. A very important feature is show mouse clicks in recording. You can select the color you prefer. Further down are shortcuts and GPU settings. Let's test one more tool, AI copywriting. I haven't really tested that one before, so let's see what it does. What are you going to write? YouTube video ideas, video oral script, knowledge introduction article, video chapter titles, YouTube video titles, and YouTube video description. Let's stay with YouTube video ideas. Let's do smartphone filmmaking S25 Ultra, as this is what I need to create more of on my channel right now anyways. In advanced options, I can select how many ideas I want to get. Let's do six and hit generate. Okay. Ultimate guide to smartphone filmmaking with S25 Ultra. Top tips and tricks for shooting cinematic videos on the S25 Ultra. Behind the scenes, making a short film with S25 Ultra. How to edit and color grade S25 Ultra footage for professional look. Comparison S25 Ultra versus professional cinema cameras for filmmaking. Introducing the best accessories for smartphone filmmaking with S25 Ultra. Okay, well, this is crazy. These are actually amazing video ideas and also titles that will bring views, each and every one of them. I try the new tools in YouTube Studio. It's under Trends um, in Channel Analytics page, but it was giving me mainly trendy ideas. And those videos, they get views at the beginning, but then they very quickly die out. I'm looking for videos to create videos that will give me views for months to come. Tutorials, evergreen content, and 
these video ideas are just that. This is uh, very interesting. I would love to hear from you what tools you are mainly using in your video editing workflow and what tools you saw here you are interested in trying. Leave it in the comments below. Well, link to Filmora 14 can be found below the video for those interested. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you in one of those videos next. Ciao. Ahoy.